Have you ever wondered how clouds form and why there are different types of clouds? Find out here in the science of clouds. Clouds appear to be solid objects floating in the sky, but in fact are a large collection of very tiny droplets of water or ice crystals. The droplets are small and light enough that they can float in the air. You can actually fit 100 million droplets into each cubic meter of air in a cloud. The most common method of a cloud forming starts with the sun. When the sun heats water from oceans, rivers, lakes and other sources like soils and plants, some of it turns from liquid water into invisible gas called water vapour. This process is called evaporation. As gas is lighter than liquids, this causes the water vapour to rise up away from the surface. The further you move away from the surface, the cooler the temperature gets, so water vapour gas turns back into tiny particles of liquid water. This process is called condensation, which is the opposite process of evaporation. Now back to liquid. The water starts sticking to microscopic dust and salt particles that are light enough to be floating around in the atmosphere. This creates water droplets and these water droplets hit each other to create bigger droplets and eventually form a cloud. The droplets created are very light and would fall very slowly towards the earth. They don't actually drop at this point though, as they are so light warm air that is moving up from the earth is moving at a faster speed than the droplets can fall and pushing them up. This means the clouds gather more droplets as they ride air currents, getting denser and denser as they collide more and more until they are heavy enough to fall faster than the air can carry them up, which causes it to rain. Rain falling from clouds is known as precipitation. Also the same for snow, hail, sleet or any other type of water that falls from the sky. This process is then repeated and is called the water cycle. There are many types of clouds. Here are some of the most common. Cumulus, probably the most recognisable cloud, meaning heap or pile in Latin. They appear like puffy cotton balls with a flat bottom that you would normally see floating by on a nice day. Stratus. Stratus means layer in Latin. They are a low, featureless, hazy cloud that blankets the sky that you would see on a grey overcast day. When stratus is on the ground, it is known as fog. Stratocumulus, another low-level cloud, ranging in colour from white to dark grey. They often appear in lines that cover large patches of the sky with the odd break. Nimbostratus, these are low to middle stage clouds that are grey in colour and thick enough to block out the sun, often accompanied by continuous heavy rain or snow, and they cover the majority of the sky. Altostratus, Altostratus clouds are grey or blue-grey, mid-level clouds made up of ice and water. The sun can usually be seen dimly through these clouds. Altocumulus Mid-height, white to grey, small clumps of clouds. The collar differentiates them from cirrocumulus clouds, which are smaller versions of altocumulus. This is situated between 20 to 40,000 feet and are just plain white. Cirrus, a high altitude wispy cloud looking like silky patches in the sky that are made of ice crystals. These clouds generally appear in fair weather. Cumulonimbus, Cumulonimbus is a dense cloud that has grown vertically. High winds often flatten the top of the cloud so it resembles an anvil-like shape. The base will look very dark and ominous. These clouds are known as thunderstorm clouds as they often bring bad to severe weather and carry lightning. Did you know? Seven out of the eight planets in our solar system have atmospheres that can hold clouds. Only Mercury does not have any. Jupiter has three layers of clouds made up of ammonia, sulphur and a mixture of ice and water. Venus, which has a pretty hellish atmosphere in general, has clouds made of highly corrosive sulfuric acid, which would not be fun to get caught in, as it melts metal. <coughs> the saying, on cloud nine, is generally associated with someone who is blissfully happy. But do you know where it originated from? It is believed that the saying comes from the 1896 edition of the International Cloud Atlas, 
which details 10 different types of clouds, with cloud 9 being cumulonimbus, which reaches up the highest of all clouds. So when you are on cloud 9, you are on top of the world. And last but not least, the water you drink every day is constantly being recycled. Once it has passed through your system, it will eventually evaporate again and become part of a cloud that will rain your water molecules back down. This process has been going on for millions of years, so the odds are that the next rain cloud you see will have water molecules that have passed through a dinosaur.